Hello and welcome to week three of our Teach Online with WebCT Blackboard course. Demonstration will provide you with a demonstration of specific activities that you need to complete in your developmental course or your experimental sandbox site this week. And those items will include entering your course where you're an instructor designer and a link to the library homepage. You'll also add a folder and file, and you'll experiment using PowerView to rearrange items on your course homepage. So let's get started with that demonstration. Shown here is a sandbox course, probably looks a little bit similar to what you've been working in so far. We have created our header and we've also added our syllabus to the course. And now in week three, we are going to do more things to fully develop your course a bit more. For one, uh, you might want to add some files to your course. So I'm going to demonstrate that by clicking on the Add File button. Notice that I'm on the Build tab, and I click on Add File. And that gives me two options. I could create a file if I wanted, and that would even give me a, a an HTML creator uh, to include images and different colored text and that kind of thing. Or I can browse for files. And I'm going to browse for a file. So I select Browse for Files. And it takes me to my content browser screen where I could go to three different areas. I could go into my generic files that are universal across my Blackboard WebCT site. I could go into my class files that are specific to this class. Or I could go to my local computer, which is where I want to go now. So I'm going to click on my computer. And I'll get a new screen that comes up. And that screen will include some options to browse for a specific file. So I'm going to click on Browse. And now I'm on my desktop, and I'm going to locate a file that I would like to add. I think I'll just connect a, um, a PDF file. But I could also equally easily connect a uh, Word or other file types. I'm going to click OK. And then in a minute, my file will be linked from my course content homepage of my course. I can further annotate this file to title, and I can also add a little message underneath the title of that file. So I'm going to do that by clicking on this little arrow to the right. This arrow is called an action link arrow. And whenever you see it, it means that there are additions you can bring up when you click on them. From the Build tab, you have the most functions, including an ability to edit the properties, to preview the item, to hide it so that students wouldn't be able to see it, to edit it, which is what we are about to do. And you can also move it to a folder or remove the link altogether. I'm going to click on Customize Link. And here I have an opportunity to have my file open in a new link, which makes navigation a little easier, especially when you are linking a PDF file. And I am going to change the title of my document. And I'm going to provide a description. wanted, I could also replace the icon for this file, but I'm going to leave it at this. I'm going to click Save. And I now have a new title and my annotated bit of information underneath it. The next activity for this week's developmental work is to add a web link. 
So I'm going to now click on Add Content Link, because that's one of the ways you can add a web. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and select Web Link. Since there are no web links in my new Sandbox course yet, I'm going to click on Create Web Link. And I'm going to title the web link that I'm going to add. I am going to paste the URL, which I've well, I'm going to paste the URL, and I hopefully I can remember. You always need to remember the protocol, so you have to type the protocol being HTTP colon slash slash. And I'm going to open it in a new browser window. And I am going to not add a category at this time. So my the web link I'm adding is the College of St. Scholastica because I know that web link offhand. So that's the one I'm going to add to this demonstration. I'm now going to click Save. And my web link is now also linked here. Um, the final activity for this course is to create a, fo a folder. So I'm going to click on Create Folder. And it's very intuitive. You just simply title it and save it. Finally, I have a number of items on my page. I can preview how this looks to the student. View. And you'll notice there are no arrows, no action link arrows to the right of these icons now. And this does approximate what the student would see. But let's say I want to move my week one materials folder up to the online orientation file. And perhaps I also want to put my um, College of St. Scholastica document into that week one material folder afterward. Let's go back to the to that. And the quickest way to reorder a file like this would be, and to place it up higher in a, in a grouping, would be to go to the page option and to select something from view. So I'm going to click on my power view, go to power view. And here I have the same items here, syllabus, the online orientation, the website, except for they're now in list format. And this list format lets me select an item by clicking the checkbox to the left of whatever item you want to move. And then I find the Move tab, which is nearest to where I want to move this folder. And the syllabus is, is the nearest because I want to put my material folder right underneath the syllabus. So I'm going to click on this Move tab, which is a little icon with two green arrows. I'm going to left click on that, and I have to, I can move my item, my folder above it or below it. I am going to click on Move Selected Items Below. This does change the order of my file. And I can preview that in a more friendly mode by going back to the basic view. Right now, I'm still in my power view, but I can get back to basic view by clicking again on page options and go to basic view. The final activity I want to complete in this course today as part of this demo is to take this web link and put it into this week one material folder. So I'm going to click on the link, the right of it. And I'm going to select move to folder. When I click on that, any of the folders that I had already created would be listed in the window that pops up. 
And I am going to click on the Week 1 Materials folder. And my link has now moved into it. And in fact, I am in the Week 1 Materials folder. And that's what I am viewing at this So this concludes this demonstration. And next week we will have another overview and we will also have a functional demonstration similar to one today. Thank you and have a good afternoon.